This problem says Max and Rose picked cherries. They ate 18 cherries for lunch. Rosa ate eight more cherries after lunch. How many cherries did Max and Rosa eat? And our friend Ethan is going to show us how to work through that. Okay, Ethan, go ahead. First, I'll do oh, my So what are you doing right now? Oh, I'm doing my picture. So why are you writing numbers in all those circles? Um, because I'm labeling them. Why is that important? Because if I forget what number I am on. Mm. So what's next? Uh, my equation. So Max and Rosa picked 18 cherries, right? And then they ate more. And then they ate more. So you know it's an addition problem. How many more do they eat? Eight. Okay. You're doing great. So I noticed that you started with the number 19 after that plus sign. Why did you do that? Because... I was counting on. Oh, you're counting on. Okay, good. What's the equation going to be? Um, 18 plus 8 equals 26. Excellent. So now the difficult way, right? Now you got to try to figure out another way to prove that. What could you do? Do you think you could use subtraction to help you? What if you took your answer and subtracted that by something? What would you use to subtract that by? Um, I, I could count by twos. Well, you could, but couldn't you take your answer and subtract it by one of the other numbers? Try that. What if you took 26, take away 8? If you do that, what do you think you're going to get? Make a prediction. Um. Pay attention to the numbers that are in your equation. Do all those numbers look like they're in your equation so far? Yes. They do, right? So if you took 26, take away 8, what number do you think you will end up with? What's the only number that's missing from your original equation up here? 18. Let's see if you get 18. Let's try it. 
you can use actually your same picture up here. So you're going to take 26, take away 8. did come out to 18, right? So that's how you can prove your thinking because you know that you started out with 18. You ended up with 26, but you took away the same amount that you added and you got to the 18 again. So you know for sure that it's correct now. How would your sentence look? Um, Max and Max and Max and and Rosa or Rose You can spin that around. Excellent. And if you were a teacher, what would you give yourself? A four. A four? I think you're right. Let's take a look again what Ethan's got here. He has his picture. He started with 18. He added 8, and he got 26. His equation was 18 plus 8, which equals 26. He showed another way by taking his answer, 26, and taking away the same number that he added, which was 8, and he ended up getting 18. And then his sentence reflected the answer, Max and Rose ate 26 cherries. Great job, Ethan.